What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks for printing from Revit. It's always nice to be able to print your beautiful project but you always need to set it up in a right way so it does everything the way it's supposed to and everything looks right. But anyway, before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to get the project file that I'm going to be using to show you all of these uh, printing tips and tricks, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the project that I'm going to be using and to start off, let's talk about scale for a second. So you probably know how to set up scale and that's uh, really good when you go over here to your uh, to one of the sheets. Here I've got two of these floor plans set up, but let's talk about scaling in another way. How do you know that this scale is right? How do you know that the lines are thick enough? Well, in order to check that, let's go to one of these floor plans and when you're zooming in, zooming out, you don't really know how is this going to look like when it's printed on paper. So it would be nice to have an ability to kind of set up a view in which you can kind of sh show it uh, in the right scale. And actually there is a tool for that. So if you go over here and open up this drop menu and you find zoom to sheet size and you just then click over here, zoom to sheet size or use the shortcut ZS as you can see now it zoomed a bit. Now I wasn't in the, I, I was kind of there at 1 to 100 so if I change the scale now to let's say 1 to 50 and then go again zoom to sheet size as you can see now it zoomed in and this is the scale at which it's going to be. Now if you take your ruler uh, up to the, your monitor uh, then it's going to be probably similar. I'm uh, not sure that it's always going to be very accurate because these computer screens aren't that accurate and uh, but it's going to be close enough. So now when it's at this size you can see this batting line. Is it good enough? Is it uh, thick enough? Is uh, Are these dimensions good enough or do you need to maybe change it? Are the line thicknesses good or do you need to make it a bit thicker? Of course make sure that you have your thin lines toggled off let me just cancel out of this. When you have uh, thin lines, you're not really sure what it's going to look like, so toggle them off. And now you can see how is this going to look like when printing. Of course, all of the colors and uh, the the lightness of the col colors, uh, that's not, of course, something that you, you're going to be able to see until you print it out. So what they always suggest you do, you print out one version just to make sure that everything looks right and then you print the rest of it. But okay, so we've got this out of the way. So let's move on to our printing dialog in Revit. So to start up your uh, printing dialog, you need to go to uh, to your well printing dialog and you can get it over here to file and then uh, find print or shortcut is control P for printing. That's what I prefer to use. So you just go there. And here for the name, now I'm going to leave this at Adobe PDF, which is basically this means that instead of going to printer and printing it out, I'm going to save it on my computer as a PDF and then I can use that. But if you have a printer connected to your computer, it will appear somewhere over here and then you can select your printer and you can even set up the properties for that printer. So that's a good option. Now when printing you can either print your current page, in this case that would be this floor plan, but I don't suggest you uh, print floor plans as is, I suggest you go here, let me just close this off for a second, I suggest you go always to your sheets and then open up the sheet and print from there. Now here we changed the scale so this is a bit bigger so let's change it back, so let's go here into 1 to 100. And one more tip before we go back to the printing dialog. If you want to make some small adjustments to the floor plans or any other view once it's on the sheet, you can actually double click on it and then you can, as you can see, you can make those changes, uh, you can make adjustments. But don't use this, don't work from here, don't work from your sheet, it's just something for small adjustments before you print. And you just double click on the outside of that to exit that edit mode. Okay, so going back to our uh, printing dialog, so let's go again, control P 
for printing dialog, then here you don't have to print this current page, you can actually set up to print multiple pages. So uh, you can go here to selected views and sheets and then go select. And then what I like to do is like to scroll down and find all of my sheets. And as you can see here, I just make sure to select them all and then hit OK. And now I've selected all of my sheets. So when I finish this and go OK, I'm actually going to print out all of my uh, all of my sheets. And here, if you're creating this as, as a PDF, here you can set up the location. So just save it anywhere on your computer. The next thing we need to do, we need to set up the actual pages. So for that, go here to settings. And here you've got these uh, the, the printer, as you can see, it's Adobe PDF. Here for the name, let's just leave it in session. And for the paper size, make sure to set up the same size of paper as you have over here. In this case, this is a A3 uh, format, a metric format, but if you're using something else, set up something else. In this case, this is landscape, so just make sure to set it up at landscape. Then we've got offsets. Of course, I don't like to have any offsets, so I just leave it at center. And then you have fit to page, and you also have zoom. I prefer setting it at the zoom at 100% of the size, so this will make sure that if this is set to a certain scale, when you print out, it will be in that scale, even though if the paper is a bit different or something like that, it will print at a correct scale. Another extremely important part is uh, this uh, vector processing versus raster processing. Now, in this case, we've got a uh, basically a floor plan. So if I was only uh, exporting or printing this floor plan, I would use vector processing. But if you have some 3D views with shadows and stuff like that or renderings, I would use raster processing. Now what's the difference? Well, for the vector processing, it basically means that it's viewing this, uh, your, your, it's viewing your drawing as a series of lines and points. And raster processing, it's viewing it as pixels. So when you see the, that those pixelated images, those are raster processed. But if you see some floor plan like this over here where you can infinitely zoom in, so if I just cancel out of this, I can infinitely zoom in and these lines are straight and they look good, that means this is vector processing, so there are no pixels here. And if we would go to some renderings, let's see if I have some renderings here. Okay, I don't have any renderings, but yeah, if I were to render this, so just go here, render, Okay, so here we've got that rendering, and if I zoom in, it looks clear, but when you zoom in deep enough, as you can see here, this is pixelated, here we've got these pixels, so that's raster processing, and that basically means you've got pixels. Those are these square things. Okay, so let's exit out of that, go back into our control, control P for our printing dialog. Let's go back to our setup. So yeah, that's why I usually set it up to vector when I'm uh, doing floor plans and to raster when I'm doing uh, renderings or 3D views. Then for the raster quality, of course, I like to set it at high. Presentation just takes a bit more time, but that's okay. I, I Honestly, I haven't ever noticed any difference between medium, high, and presentation. I just do high because I don't know, I don't want to be medium. But anyway, that's uh, what you set up here. Here you can do colors, you can do grayscale, which basically means it's taking all of the shades and turning them to gray. And you can do that, or you can do black lines, which means that all of the lines will be black. Okay, so that's uh, what you do over there. Then here you can hide scope boxes, crop boxes, stuff like that, uh, reference work planes. You can check all of these uh, as, as long as you don't want to have them in the, in the project, just make sure to check them over here. Uh, so uh, let's just cancel out of that. And yeah, that's it. Here you set up where you want to save the file or if you're printing that you don't even have to do that and you just hit OK and you start printing. Okay, so that was pretty much it for this quick printing tips and tricks tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.